Okay, so we're starting again um, from where we left off. We are. Uh, we were talking about odds, and we were almost finished. But we have to. That was in. That was in video number six. But this is video number seven, which is trying to finish the job off. The. Um, we didn't. Um, we didn't have. Sorry about that. Um, what do you get here? Here we go. Let me get the full piece of paper ready to go. Okay, so the um, what problem number four it was this is video number seven. And we what we needed to do, let me get my pencil. Here we were talking about in problem number four. Uh, we had done the first pro three problems about odds. Here's the case. The given is that the probability of the uh, Nets winning, of the Nets winning is, uh, the, is five out of 17. So, and the question is, we're, we're trying to change this into odds. What are the odds of the Nets losing? So you're given a statement about the probability of them winning, and what are what is the odds of the Nets losing? Okay, so here is what we got to do. It's going to be we're going to set up a colon, and what do we care about? We care about losing. So losing has to be on the left hand side, and winning is going to be on the right hand side. But we're given the probability of them winning. We got to figure out how what what's what are the chances of them losing. So we take 17 minus 5 is equal to 12. Those are the chances that they're going to be losing, and that comes first. What are the rest of the chances? The rest of the chances are 5. So the odds of the Nets losing are 12 to 5. How do we get our 12? By taking the, the denominator of the probability, 17, subtracting the 5 winning chances, you can get the 12 losing chances. That's how we got our 12. And that's the answer to problem number 4. To wrap up, and this is a short video because I am wrapping up the odds that we did in really video 6 and video 7 belong together. This is a short video, video, video number 7, finishing off this stuff about odds. And here's the case. Let's say you do some work. You do, some, you do a bunch of work on scrap paper, and you eventually come to an answer that the odds that you're getting that you want to give the, as the answer are 2 to 6. You do scrap paper work, and you do everything right, you calculate everything right, you come to a conclusion that it's the odds of, of whatever this th the question was is 2 to 6. You can't give this as your final answer. You're fine, you, whenever you can reduce, you must reduce. So since 2 is divisible by 2, and 6 is divisible by 2, you divide 2 divided by 2, you get 1. 6 divided by 2, you get 3. And that's the final answer. Let's say it's answer B. That's the answer you would have to give as your final answer on the answer sheet. Whenever you can reduce, you must reduce. So this is a very short video. It's video number seven, belongs with video number six, and it concludes what we're trying to explain about odds.